Uh, Bill, I was just wondering, uh, what was going through your mind through uh, the sequence with the first penalties, you know, the re uh, the retake and then the ball going in on the rebound? I mean, how does that affect the team's mindset as you have to kind of shift out of that moment? Um, I don't know. It's, it's tough, you know, and it's a, that's, a, that's football for you. You know, you miss some, you, you, you score some. And, uh, you know, it's, it's obviously it's unfortunate, but, you know, we had to keep out our mindset and, you know, keep going on and going on through the game and, uh, and yeah. Nick Krupke, KPTV. Yeah, Bill, kind of a, a run of unfortunate events there, obviously with, with Jeff being taken out as well. And so again, you go to the fourth string with, with Hunter, who's still doing high school classes. Yeah. How do you guys help him through this time if he's going to be in that spot now going forward? I mean, you know, he's a professional and he knows, you know, he knows what's his job and his job is, you know, uh, sit in front of the goal and, you know, makes those big time saves. But, you know, it's uh, it's, it's tough to come off uh, off the bench and go straight into, you know, a heated game where, uh, you know, but, you know, it's he's, it's a, you know, it's, he's learning and uh, he's got us to, he's got the whole team that supports him and, you know, we, we, we believe in him and he's got great potential in front of him. Paul Dander. Hey, Bill, talk about the challenge of having to come off the bench so early, you no know, warm up time, and just mentally getting yourself up to speed. You talk about Hunter and that, but talk about how you dealt with that um, today. Um, you know, the, it's games that, you know, that every player has to be ready, and uh, things can happen like this. You know, I, I hope for speedy recovery for Larice and, and also Jeff. But these are the times that, you know, you, you have to be ready off the bench, and uh, you've got to come in with the right mindset you know, and follow through with the game plan. Well, Conwell. Uh, Bill, um, you know, it, uh, it came late. Uh, you guys weren't able to get the equalizer, but your, your goal was still, you know, something to behold. Uh, you know, is that, uh, is that something that uh, you've always had in your tool bag? Uh, how did that goal feel for you? Uh, I, you know, I, I told, I walked up there and, you know, obviously I told Eric, hey, let me take this. I had, uh, I had belief and I had confidence that, you know, I could, I could finish this in the back of the net, but, you know, again, you know, losing 2-1 after that, you know, you've just got to, we just got to move on and, uh, you know, obviously look, uh, gotta, you know, look at the videos and see what we need to improve on. And, you know, we'll go move on forward to our next game. And, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, we're not going to put our heads down. I felt like, you know, the, everybody, battle to the end and uh you know we gave it all but you know it's, we're gonna move forward to keep our heads up and uh and go on and you know do more do scouting on the next game and be prepared for that as well and for a couple more we'll go to nick krepke again bill first time in a while that you guys have been able to look at the schedule and see nothing in the middle of the week um how beneficial is that because there, there, there's some tired bodies and, and beat up legs there uh it's 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 uh you know it was at five games and Two and a half weeks, it was it was tough, but you know we we battled through, and uh, knowing that we've got a a decent amount of time to our, until our next game, now we can you know you know uh, reset, you know reset mentally wise and get our bodies right, you know get it healthy and strong, and uh, and go again, and uh, you know it's it's obviously a good good thing to have you know, a few days before our next game. And we'll finish it up with Paul Danzer. Bill Gio said this was your Personally, your best game since he's been coach here. Um, how do you analyze that? What did you feel you uh, you were doing really well at, or do, do you agree with him? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you told me that it was a, I played well, but you know, uh, I had to, you know, I had to show up. It's a game against Seattle. It's a derby game, and you know, I needed to do this every game. That when I step on the field, I needed to, you know, have the same performance. And uh, you know, I, I had to you know press up Brule, and he's you know he's a big lad. I had to keep tight hold of him, and uh, you know make sure he doesn't turn, and uh, make make tackles that you know that was needed. And uh, you know we we it wasn't just me. You know all the other players had had great games, and we just you know obviously unfortunate with the loss, but we got to keep our heads up and uh, you know move forward. Bill, thanks for taking the time.